What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am letting you guys know about some WWE action figures that I have for sale in my collection. Plenty of customs, plenty of great figures. Uh, we got some, like, playset style stuff. We got some belts. We got some lots. We got we got some good-ish over here for you guys to check out. I have a link to my eBay page down in the description, and all of the listings are up. Took me three and a half freaking hours to update and upload all of those listings to eBay. Very, very time consuming. Like, holy crap on a map. That ish took forever. So hopefully you guys can help me out by going over there and if you guys are interested in anything, I got a lot of auctions over there. I think a lot of them start at five bucks. Some of them are starting as low as a penny. So, you know, I'm just trying to move some stuff out. I got some stuff that are, that is releasing soon that I really, really want to get in my hands and I'm really excited about. And I'll probably, I might show you guys in a later video. It doesn't have anything to do with WWE or figures or anything, but I figured I could get some of this stuff, pass this stuff on to you guys from my collection into your guys' collection and maybe you guys can help me out. So let's go ahead and start out with the first thing, guys. I'm actually deciding to move this big lot of women's figures. So I got a bunch of women's figures right here, and I'm really excited to get these out of here. You know, they don't really serve a big purpose. You know, they, they can be used for customs. They can be used if you guys like to collect a lot of the women's figures. I think this is a great lot that you guys can get in on. I think overall there's like 24 of them. You got a good elite Sasha. You got some good Bella elites in here. You got some Becky Lynch's, some Alexa Blisses. You got some Ronda Rousey's. I mean, we got a big lot right here. I think it's like 24 figures right here that are going to be be moved in a lot on eBay. Again, all over there on the eBay page. Link in the description for you guys to go check it out, but plenty of great figures in here. This Alexa Bliss fix-up is really nice, so this is included. You got the Elise Sasha, the Nikki Bella, stuff like that, so if you guys want to get in on this, now is the time. Link is in the description for you guys to go grab that, so big women's figure lots. Tons of great things in there. You know, some not-so-good stuff, but you know, that's why it's a big old lot right there. You can customize it. You can use it for parts, things of that nature. There you go. Also live on the eBay page right now, is going to be some belt lots. So I did some random belt lots. Uh, you know, a bunch of belts that I had multiples of. So this lot right here has the Hardcore Championship, the Rated R Championship, an NWO World Heavyweight Championship, a Million Dollar Championship, and a regular Big Gold Championship. So I have like five or six different belt lots, and that is the first one. So you got that one. The next one, guys, you got the Universal Championship. You got the WWF title, Cruiserweight title, Intercontinental US Championship, World Heavyweight title, the Raw Women's Championship, and and uh, there you go. So I, I pretty much, you know, you guys know that I have a ton of figure belts and some of these just sit around. So I figured what better way than to put them on eBay in a big lot and have somebody that could, you know, take home a little collection of belts here on the eBay page right there. So if you guys are interested in any of these belt lots, go check that out. But not only do we have those two belt lots, there are more guys. We got more belt lots over here and they are separated. I'm trying to get them, you know, keep them separated because I don't want to mess them up. I want to keep them together. But you got this one with the world tag titles in it, U.S. title, Raw Women's Champion. Championship, NXT Championship, and the World Heavyweight Championship. The next belt lot that we have is the Raw Tag Team Championships. You got the U.S. title, Intercontinental title, you got the Cruiserweight Championship, and you have the WWE Championship and the current NXT Championship, and of course the Raw Tag Team Championship. So that one comes with a little bit more, I feel like, than the others. And I think the final belt lot that's not custom belts is this one where we got the North American title, the WWE title, Universal Championship, U.S. title, World Heavyweight Championship, and I also am throwing in a Money in the Bank briefcase for you guys. So if you guys want to check that out, again, all of the belt lots are separated. You guys can pick out whichever ones that you want to bid on or get in on and they are available over there. Now, not only do I have some regular WWE, you know, Mattel championship belts, I also have some custom championship belts. So what I have is, uh, I did throw these in here, the little Otis heavy machinery belts, but I got like an NXT hemp championship. I have my, you know, my metal version of the 24-7 championship is also over there. So you have the 24-7 championship, the Intercontinental Championship. These are all metal-plated, guys. These are all metal-plated. You got the U.S. Championship, Cruiserweight Championship, and the Rated-R title. This is just a big old lot of those metal plate belts that we took a look at uh, earlier on the channel, and I just wanted to move them. I had no use for them. I figured you guys, if you were interested in them, maybe you guys would like to get in on that. But we do have those metal championships as well as the AEW Championship. Since I have the official Jazz Wares and Wicked Cool Toys version, I figured why the hell do 
I need this version, so I am selling this version right there. Uh, I don't think it's going to come with the stand, but you can, uh, I just tried to keep it there so it could separate it from the rest of them there. Now, another thing that I put on eBay that I thought was a pretty interesting idea is I went ahead and kind of made like a little playset here. So I took some different things from my collection and made a playset. I got a steel chair. I have another steel chair. I got a sledgehammer. I threw in a couple belts, so I threw in a WWE Championship and a US Championship, as well as a breakaway table, a barricade, and a tall ladder and a small ladder. So this is like a TLC playset. You get a big ladder, a small ladder, a breakaway table, the sledgehammer, the two titles, the two steel chairs, and the barricade all coming together in a lot, and you guys can go buy that all together. That is all in a TLC playset. I figured that would be pretty cool to throw all that together and, you know, just kind of, you know, you can buy it all in one spot. You ain't got to buy them all separately. It all comes together in a lot there, so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested. And, of course, outside of that, we do have another playset, but I'm going to get into some of the figures that I have listed on eBay if you guys are interested in some of these. I do got some regular elites, and then I have some customs. Starting out first, I am going to put my Luchasaurus up because I am going to be making myself a new Luchasaurus figure. So I figured, you know, why, why do I need this one? I can just put this up there, and you guys can check that out. So I am going to be making my own new, improved version of Luchasaurus. So I figured you guys could cash in on that opportunity, if you get what I'm saying. Another figure that I put up, guys, is going to be the Flashback Walmart exclusive Ultimate Warrior figure. No accessories included with this. This is just the regular Ultimate Warrior figure. So I got that one put up there. I also have another exclusive, which is the Johnny Gargano Hall of Champions Target exclusive Johnny Gargano, if anybody's interested in that one. We have the Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund Collector's Edition. So a lot of flashback stuff in here that I just don't have any use for at the moment. You know, I, I probably could end up using it later on, but for the moment, there's just some other things that I would like to purchase right now that are a priority for me. So that is why I am listing some of this stuff off. Another figure that we have, guys, is the Zack Ryder. This is kind of a fix-up. It's got like some newer Zack Ryder arms. It's got the Elite 9. Is it the Elite 9 Zack Ryder tights? Uh, I think this is the right head sculpt. No, the, the right head sculpt's the pissed off one. This is his Elite 17 figure with the different headband and stuff. It's just sort of, sort of a mismatch of parts with the Zack Ryder figure there. Another one we got is one that I think people will be happy about. It is the Matt Seidel slash Evan Bourne Elite 8 figure. Really, really nice Elite. Great posability on this guy. And I figured that would be a figure that a lot of people would be interested in. So we got Evan Bourne in there. Another one that we got is one of my favorites. We got the Iron Sheik, a Legend Series Iron Sheik. I can't remember the series exactly, but there is Iron Sheik. I love Iron Sheik to death. Since I had the Retro Fest version, and you guys know I love Iron Sheik, I went ahead and kept that version. It's newer. I like the attire better. So I'm going I'm to part ways with this one for now. Another one that we got, guys, is the Elite 20 CM Punk body that has been featured on Thinking Outside the Box there. That is up for sale. So if you guys have a CM Punk head or something that you want to put on there, I looked forever for a CM Punk head in my collection. I thought I had one laying around. I actually do not. So there's your opportunity to own that one. We also have Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson going in as a set. So if you guys want to get these, these are going to be together in a set. And I think they're starting the same, uh, same, they're at the same starting price as everything else, but they are two in one. So you can get both of those guys together as a tag team. We also finally put up those uh, those retro Hasbro figures. So I know that they were supposed to be listed forever ago, but I never got around to it. So I, I knocked it all out this morning. It took forever. And now I realize why I always put off, you know, putting stuff on eBay is because it takes, dude, it takes forever. Like if anybody has an idea on how to do that faster, like Jesus. But we have Kevin Owens, Ric Flair, Finn Balor, and Sami Zayn, all individual. You don't have to buy them all together. They are in an individual lot. So if there are some that you are searching after, there you go. All of that is there. I think we have like 40 different op auctions or something like that up on the eBay page, so you guys can get in on that. Another figure that we have is Bushwhacker Butch. Is this Bushwhacker Butch or Luke? I can't remember, but it's it's up on eBay, so you guys can go cash in on that one. A couple more flashbacks that we have, guys, and then we have some custom figures that we're going to get into, but we do have uh, the Shark. We have the Shark figure, and we also have the Red Rooster. Now, I think the Red Rooster is actually pretty sought after, so if you guys want to get in on the Red Rooster figure, I think it goes for like $70 or something. It's starting out a cent, I think. I think it's starting out a cent. It may start out at $5. I can't remember, but great, great opportunity to own the Red Rooster and the Shark. The Shark is missing his headband, so that's unfortunate, but yeah, 
I know where it is. I just can't. I, I don't know. I, I had it in like one of my boxes fell and now it's gone forever. So I, I don't know. I'm trying to find that. I'm going to scoot back the camera a little bit because we do have quite a few more here. Next up, guys, we have a figure that I don't think I've shown off on the channel ever. And that is this Dolph Ziggler as Green Lantern. I entered this into a custom contest, a, a custom underground tournament before. And I never really showed this off on the channel. But here it is. I think I, I actually just randomly found it in one of my boxes of like little plastic bags, I guess from us moving. And I guess I never unpacked it. Never unpacked it and I found it and I was like, you know what, bro? Maybe somebody would like to own this. The mask is sculpted on there. It's got the Green Lantern logo. He does have the Green Lantern ring on there as well. Really cool figure, you know, very uh, unusual, but if you're a big Ziggler fan like me and you want to cash in on this, or maybe you're just a big, uh, you know, Green Lantern fan, there you go. This is a very cool figure. He's got the green streaks in his hair. Really unique custom. I don't think I've ever really seen anything else like that, especially with Green Lantern or Dolph Ziggler, so there you go. Something else that I put up on there, guys, is uh, I haven't listed it just yet, but by the time you guys are seeing this, maybe it will finally be up, but I did put a secondary uh, Bob Braun Strowman head sculpt on there, so if you guys want to own a Bob Braun Strowman head sculpt, I am going to put this up for sale over there, and you guys can get on on that. It does have the ponytail mark right there, still trying to figure out how to get that off, but if you guys want an updated Braun Strowman head sculpt, there you go. I had this in my uh, fodder bin, so I figured go ahead and make another one, and maybe one of you guys would like to own that. Finishing it off, guys, we also have some other customs, and we have a lot of customs here that actually are going to make me sad to part with, but we do have a custom Seth Rollins in the pink and gray and black. You know, I typically don't trade or ever sell my Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy's, Kevin Owens, but uh, I had to make an exception for this one time only, so do not miss out on this. We have the pink MDT style Seth Rollins custom, and I'm actually going to be parting with a lot of my Finn Balor customs, like the, you know, the, the custom Balors of the month. I have all of them represented, man. I got the Grinch. I got the white Phantom attire. I got the Terminator. I got the Phoenix attire. I got the black and green demon. I got the Pennywise Finn Balor. And last but not least, guys, we also have the Batman Finn Balor. So I am parting ways with all of these Finn Balors and this Seth Rollins. And again, it makes me very sad because I have sentimental, you know, attachment to those figures because uh, I, I started working on those like way long ago when I first started the channel, when I first started my page. I just started doing a monthly Finn Balor just for the fun of it, like a monthly demon. And, you know, it evolved and I, I, I stopped doing them for whatever reason because I ran out of Finn Balors to use. I've had the Finn Balors to use for a while. You know, I have so many extra Finn Balors, but just the the time and the and the effort putting into these customs, I don't know if I could do the same for the other Finn Balors if I were to try and recreate them, but these Finn Balors right here, that Seth Rollins, that Dolph Ziggler, a lot of these hold very sentimental value to me, and if you guys want to own some stuff that's been featured on the channel, if you want to own some customs that have been, been made by me, now's the opportunity for you guys to get in on that. All of these, again, are listed on eBay. Link in the description. You got the figures, you got the women's figure lot, you got the play sets, the belts. I also have a, I also have some rubber accessories and a hardcore play set featuring the glass panes on there. I didn't have it in the video, but they are over there on the eBay page if you guys want to get in on that. But also including the purchase, if you buy anything from the eBay page, you do get a little My Damn Toys business card, and I'll probably even put my signature on it for whatever reason if you guys would be interested in that. But yeah, I figured I could make a video today. That's why the, the video from this morning was not uploaded is because I was focused so much on getting all these things listed on eBay and trying to get them listed. It took forever, bro. Like, holy crap. Cannot stress enough how long it took to get those up, but all of these figures, all these customs, all these belts, everything is listed on the eBay page down below, guys. So link in the description. Definitely go check that out if you will for me. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys are interested in and uh, go check them all out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.